and it's certainly an honor for me to be here and speak about as we mem as we remember when our country was under attack 20 years ago today and we saw a lot of bravery and heroism on the part of our first responders the fire service ems and law enforcement we've seen them die but there were a lot of other first responders that day those were the people on flight 93 in pennsylvania those were the civilians that were helping people out of the towers those are the people working in the pentagon america stepped up to the challenge and i've heard it said that the war on terror is over it may be over for us but it's not over for them we need to remain ever vigilant and from my perspective if that's one thing to mention today we are not out of the woods those people still want to harm us we get briefings all the time on this from homeland security we know we have a, a serious problem and i'd like to also mention the deputies i lead at the sheriff's office and all law enforcement in whatcom county we're very fortunate for the quality the integrity uh, just top-notch people that we, we have working in, uh, in these agencies, and along with the fire service uh, as well. However, they are under attack now, and I'm glad you had your rally, and they see you with the Blue Lives Matter flags and the American flags, because they are under attack by hordes of people that want to demonize them, vilify them, diminish them, and take away their authority. And the chief component of that is the Washington State Legislature in a series of bills they passed over the last few years, most radically and most profound this year, that we're not allowed to even stop someone if we reasonably suspect they've committed a crime. If someone chooses to run from us in a vehicle or flee from one of our deputies, we don't have the ability to pursue them. They've made it easier for felons who are engaged in the commission of a felony to sue law enforcement. And these are some of the changes we have to, that have been thrown on us and changes that we need to ensure are rectified in the next legislative session. They need to hear from you. So, I know we've got a lot of speakers. I just want to thank everyone for being here standing up for America, standing up for the state of Washington, and standing up for our first responders. Thank you. Thank you.